Hey, it's Mr. Songer with you, and this is the makeup lesson for lesson number two for seventh grade, first trimester. For this lesson, you're going to need your Accent on Achievement book, pages four and five, and percussion, you can use your bell kit or your snare drum. And we're also going to be going through that practice sheet, or sorry, warm-up sheet that I gave you, and uh, I'll be talking about that for a minute or so. Um, I want to just start out with this makeup lesson and just say that one, one thing that we focused in on uh, at our lesson was practicing and trying to come up with an effective way to practice. And here's just some tidbits of things that I would recommend for you to make your practicing time very beneficial. Number one, have a set time that you practice every day or every other day so that you don't just say, I'll do it when I get around to it, because if you do that, you probably won't. Uh, number two, you should have a goal when you practice. You should you know, decide, okay, I want to get uh, better at a specific song for band, or I want to work on uh, a song or a few songs out of my book that we're working on at our lessons or for an upcoming playing test. Um, or maybe you want to work on a certain technique like playing higher or faster or softer or something like that. Uh, number three, you should do a warm-up in your practice time, and we're going to talk about warm-ups in just a minute, but spending a few minutes doing a nice warm-up is a great way to start your practice session. Uh, number four, you should practice some hard stuff and some easy stuff. A good mixture of the two is nice. Uh, the easy stuff because that makes practicing more fun, and it's stuff that you're used to, it gives you confidence, and then the hard stuff because that's really the stuff that you need to practice so you can get better at it. So those are some, some really important things. And then another thing, too, um, don't get too hard on yourself. Um, you know, when you practice, we're working on stuff, like I just said, that, that you're not good at, that you, that's hard. And so it's very easy to get hard on ourselves. So try not to. If you're just getting way too frustrated, take a break. Come back to it later. And, uh, and just know that, you know, in the world of, of getting better at anything, it takes time. And uh, sometimes we take a step back in order to take two steps forward. And sometimes we have to learn how something doesn't work in order to learn how something works. We learn through our mistakes. So uh, I guess the only other thing I would say is um, to make practicing a little bit more fun, um, buy some fun books, get smart music, practice with another person. Those can make things uh, a lot more exciting to do. So... I'm going to move on to the warm-up sheet that you all have. It's just one white sheet of paper that says, uh, I think it says sixth grade warm-ups at the top, even though we're using it in seventh grade too. And it's just a really nice, easy warm-up sheet that works on all sorts of aspects of your playing. And I'm not going to go through, those, through uh, those with you right now on the video, but I would like you to, like I just said, implement that into your practice session. So you're going to play something for me here uh, to make up for this uh, missed lesson and record it for me. So maybe before you record it and practice it, maybe you do a couple of those warm-ups from the warm-up sheet. So, And we're going to be doing those in our lessons every now and then just to kind of help you through it and explain the importance of doing those warm-ups. So then the last thing I want to do with this lesson is play through some songs on pages 4 and 5. And what I would like you to do is for your makeup scores, I would like you to do one of these. And the one I would like you to play for me is number 15 for your makeup. And you can record that and send it to me by email or play it for me on your phone or put it in Google Drive or even come into school before or after school or during block advisory and record that. Um, so, And uh, the cool thing about number 15, too, is that also is one of the songs on your playing test for the first, uh, the first playing test, which is coming up in October. So actually, if you do really well on it, I will actually count that towards your playing test score. If you don't do so well on it, um, you can always redo it. That's no problem. Um, we're going to play uh, three songs here. We're going to start with uh, number 10, Deck the Halls, a little Christmas music here for September. So here we go, number 10 on page 4. One, two, three. <laughs> So that's number 10. Hopefully you notice I put some dynamics in there. I hope you're doing that. Uh, we're going to move on and do number 12 on page 5, another one to show off your dynamic contrast. And this one's a slower one and a little bit more lyrical and smooth and connected. So here we go. One, two, three. Thank <laughs> you. 
And then I'm going to do number 15. This is America the Beautiful. And again, this is the one I want you to record for me. One, two, three. <laughs> There's your makeup lesson, seventh grade. Go ahead and get me that recording, and have a great day.